music for me is an invitation <clears throat> to actually travel inside of myself and to find a, a, a great space of freedom actually in general the practice of music and constantly going back back to it back to your instrument back to yourself um, <clears throat> I found the greatest amount of freedom there my name is Eric Anderson and I teach cello and strings learning and being able to to do something new is probably the closest thing that I have found to being magical what I try to bring to my teaching is that same element of magic that I see in music making and in learning in general and sort of um, helping students build an awareness of themselves, their body, their mind, their intentions, and also sort of going by faith, being brave and courageous and putting that together and just sort of seeing what happens. I had been playing around with the radio in the car and I heard, I found the classical music radio and I sort of said, oh, what's that sound? I really want to play that. And I guess I just heard strings and thought, oh, maybe it's a violin. And so when I was 10 for my birthday, I got a violin. Actually, I started playing cello when I was 14. Um, I had played violin for a few years before that, and my first instrument was actually the trumpet, which they handed me in fourth grade. You know, it must have been some time when I was 15 or 16, I sort of really loved music and thought, oh, this would be something that I will be doing forever. I also started teaching, actually, through a teaching internship program at age 16. So. I knew that I at least liked teaching cello and I really liked playing it, so I, I guess I figured there was a way for me to do this. Um, probably my mom singing something to me. Some, she had several songs that I can remember from childhood, but uh, any one of those, I can't really tell which one came first. I remember I had a really great time playing um, Bach's Wedding Cantata. It was when I was first starting to really get into Baroque cello and it was with uh, the Queen's College Baroque Ensemble and it was one of the first times that I felt really to just lose myself in the music and I was totally sort of not um, too self-conscious when I was playing but I was just really expressing and emoting and shaping the way that uh, the music seemed to me in the moment. I would love to meet Mendelssohn and talk to him about his life and his music making. I would also be really interested to have dinner with um, Amy Beach, who is uh, one of the few well, sort of well-known female composers, and she was also American. And for number three, maybe Rachmaninoff, uh, because I speak Russian and he's just a very fascinating figure, incredible music, I think a deep soul. You know? And I would definitely go with Cake because thinking about music and practicing and all the work you put into something, I feel like cake is a better analogy because you know you put all this work in, all the ingredients, you mix it up, you pour it in the pan, it looks like a gross mess in the pan. You put it in the oven and you wait and then the magic happens and it comes out and it's this amazing fluffy thing. I think at one time I would have said that I would like to have the superpower to, to be able to fly. But I think now that I'm a little older, I would like to have the superpower to go back in time, to time travel. I'd probably first I'd go back and have tea with Rachmaninoff. <laughs>